How is it going everybody? You're watching Denable Tech and if you follow this channel, you know that quite recently I bought the new iPad Pro, this guy right here, to replace my MacBook, to replace my computer. And while I'm doing the full review, I'm preparing the full review, testing everything there is uh, to know about the iPad Pro, testing all of its features, absolutely everything about the iPad Pro to answer this question and uh, can it replace the computer, I decided to create this video so you guys don't get a big gap while I'm preparing it and I decided to give you this, the overview. I just want to show you the most important things, the most important features, what you need to know about the iPad Pro to get prepared to the main full review that's coming very, very soon. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the iPad Pro overview. So I want to begin this overview showing you the iPad itself without the case, without the pencil attached or anything. I just want to show you the device itself, all the design and then how it looks completely naked. So let's go ahead and take a look at the back right here. And as you can see, it is completely very simply minimalistic as Apple loves to do. So we just have this clean slate right here. As you guys can see, I have the 11 inch iPad Pro in silver. You can definitely see that it is a smallest version and the color is silver so right there at the top we have some antenna bands for Wi-Fi and then right here at the bottom we have the smart connector which we'll talk about that in a second um, we also have right here the camera so of course single camera and flash but that's it very minimalistic very simple and I love the design as you guys can see the design is also extremely squared it is almost like this industrial design it is just a square everything it is like completely squared so you don't see round corners or anything like that of course just this round corner right here uh, it is rounded, but uh, all the edges are completely squared. Uh, let's have a look at the bottom now. So we can see that we have the USB Type-C uh, port right here. More on that on a second as well. So we ditched lightning completely and now we have USB Type-C, which is great. And we have two down speakers. So facing down, we have two speakers. And if you look at the top, we also have another couple of speakers so we have four speakers total and the speakers are very 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 good uh, right here we also have two microphones which are very good for phone calls and things like that and even if you want to use it to uh, record um, voice memos or things like that we have another microphone right here on the right on the left side and on the right side we have the another smart connector but this time this smart connector is specific for the Apple Pencil. Now I want to show you the display for a second so uh, if you go ahead and unlock it you guys can see that the display is very, very nice. It is very vibrant. Uh, as you guys can see, the colors are great. Even in this very, very lit environment that I mean right now, uh, the colors are very, very good. The bezels, the bezels are quite slim. Of course, it is not bezel-less. Uh, it is not like iPhone style bezel-less, iPhone X, XS style. And uh, so you can definitely have a look at the display. It is rounded, as you guys can see. You have a round display right here. Uh, and it is not OLED, it is LCD. It is the same technology as the 10R, so it's a liquid retina display, but I don't know what they did with this. The screen looks so good, so crisp. It is the best screen on any tablet in the world right now. And of course, right here at the top, we house the Face ID. We have Face ID right here at the top, the cameras and everything, and the front-facing camera as well, but I'm going to talk about the Face ID in a second. <laughs> Now I want to talk about the dock and I want to also talk about gestures because as you guys can see we don't have a home button on the new iPad Pro so everything is done like with gestures just like with the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 10s and the iPhone 10R so what are the gestures so we have the basic gestures like uh, swipe up right here to go home so that's pretty basic uh, we also have multitasking which is also very very similar to the iPhone so we go ahead and swipe halfway and then we let go so then we have right here all of the windows that we have opened so very easily we have multitasking we also have control center so same story swipe down on the top 
right corner and then we just have right here our command center which is same story same thing but we have the new dock it's just a new thing called the dock and how does that work so if i'm on safari or any other app absolutely any other app that isn't the 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 home screen so absolutely any app what can i do i can just swipe up just a bit and we got the dock so this part of the dock you can actually uh, put apps here and arrange the way you want. So I arranged this because these are the apps I use most. And then these three apps right here are gonna be the ones that you have recently opened. So just the apps that you have recently opened. And how does that work? So it's just like you can imagine. If you're here, for example, on your Safari, you swipe up just like a few centimeters, a few inches, and then you go ahead and you can open your settings, for example. Same story with your music and so on and so forth. So we don't have to actually go ahead, go back to the home screen, have a look at the app, and then go back to the app you want or go and look at the multitasking, which can be a little bit confusing right here. So this way, you can just easily switch between apps in a much easier manner. Now, since we're talking about multitasking, dock, and things like that, I have to talk about true multitasking on the iPad Pro, which means that you can open more than one app at the same time on the same screen. Let me show you how that works. So uh, I have here my Safari, and I can just very easily bring up the dock as I showed you, and then I can drag any app I have right here. So tap, drag, and drop. So then I'm gonna have two windows, two apps at the same time. And they all are dynamic, uh, reloading, working. They are completely 100% working at the same time. They're not, it's not like one is frozen and the other one is working. It is true multitasking. So you have this option of having this like floating window right here. So you can have it floating like that. Or you actually have the option to just tap here, drag down and then have it multiple screens and then actually you don't crop the content you have full content here full content here and of course you can adjust the size as well i'm gonna have a full video on tips tricks uh multitasking showing you everything you can do on the ipad pro again this is just an overview but i think you need to know about this but stay tuned because this video on tips tricks and multitasking is gonna be awesome, completely amazing. Now, as I said, the new iPad Pro has Face ID, as I just mentioned, but I wanna show you something because uh, the Face ID on the iPad Pro is actually much better than the Face ID on the new iPhones. Let me explain. Because it works on any orientation, it is much faster. So the Face ID on the iPhone, it only works portrait, so I would have to get my iPad and, and do exactly this to actually unlock it. But on the new iPad Pro, you don't. How does it work? I don't know, but it works on any orientation. So if I lock my device right here, let me just face a little bit towards me. And then as you guys can see, it just works perfectly. It works on the side, it works on landscape, it works even upside down. It works on any orientation and it is much, much faster. And I just think it's gonna be like that on the new upcoming iPhones that are coming later this year. Now I wanna talk about speed because like the speed on this thing is absolutely amazing. You have to trust me, this is much faster than most of the MacBooks available right now, than the MacBook. Airs, the, the normal MacBooks, the, the, even most MacBook Pros, this is just a machine. You probably don't think that, you probably don't agree, but take a look, this is just so blazing fast, it is actually ridiculous. And not only to open things, but actually the processing power is amazing because it uses the A12X Bionic processor, so it is just ridiculous. Uh, pro uh, editing videos on this and processing is much faster than on any Mac I have ever used, and I've used like 16 gigs, Core i7 uh, MacBook Pros, and this thing just completely wipes it. Uh, I'm gonna actually open a few apps, just because I wanna make it a little bit fast. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna close Safari, close Settings, uh, Music, LumaFusion, and my camera. Yeah, I think that's enough. So I'm gonna open these apps so they're completely closed, they're not loading in the background or anything, and have a look at how fast everything is. So I'm gonna open settings right here, it is instant. Like, have a look at this. You tap on anything, everything is just 100% instant. You don't get this on any iPhone, trust me, you don't get this even on MacBooks, like the similar things, it just opens perfectly, you don't even blink, it is just 
amazing. Let me do the same thing for the camera. So as you know, camera takes a little bit of time to load if, if, if they're completely closed. If you tap on the camera, look, even when the, even before the animation opens, even before the animation completely fills the screen, the camera is already loaded. This is ridiculous, honestly. Now, uh, Safari, so of course, we're reloading the page, but look at that. Look at how fast we just reloaded the page. And my Wi-Fi is not even that fast. Uh, and last but not least, let's open LumaFusion. LumaFusion, as I said, is a full editing video tool, is a full editing video software. And if I want to open Final Cut Pro on my Mac, it takes a lot of time. And if I look at this, like, was it three seconds? Like, ridiculous. And I'm already working on it. Pro, uh, like it doesn't glitch, it doesn't stop, it's just so smooth, just so perfect, like I've never seen anything like that. The iPad Pro is a beast. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. If you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button down below. Also, please make sure to put your mouse on top of my profile picture right here, click on the subscribe button and then on the little bell icon so you get notified whenever I post a new video. And then of course, click on this video because I'm sure you're gonna love it.